In discussing this issue, Dr. Frankel draws a distinction between meanings which are objective and externally verifiable and those which are subjective based on feelings. According to Dr. Frankel, only subjective meaning is found in the drug-induced experience. For instance, those that are made available in a, uh, in, in a state of intoxication by LSD may well wind up in the same way as the animals that had been used by Olds and Milner in California for their self-stimulation experiments. That is to say, they inserted electrodes into the deeper centers of the brain of rats, and whenever the electrical current was closed, evidently these animals experienced something such as sexual orgasm or else the satisfaction of taking in food. And now the animals learned to jump on the lever, thereby closing the electric circuit and thereby providing themselves with these feelings of orgasm or uh, other w uh, forms of satisfaction. Then they became addicted to this business. They did so up to 50,000 times a day. And the remarkable thing now is that these animals that could provide themselves by, this, by electricity with the mere feeling of orgasm or other satisfactions no longer cared for the real partners, sexual partners offered to them and, no, and totally neglected the real food that had been offered to them. Once you take in LSD, suddenly the whole world uh, takes on uh, infinite meaningfulness. However, these are merely subjective meanings. I would say these are feelings of meaningfulness rather than true, than real meanings. And the danger is that those youngsters who resort to these subjective feel, uh, f um, feelings of meaningfulness, these youngsters are threatened to bypass and neglect those meanings, those objective meanings which are in wait for them, which are in store for them out there in the world rather than within their own psyche. Caught, caught in the existential vacuum, in the existential despair, in the despair over the apparent meaninglessness of life, they resort to subjective meanings and then neglect the objective meanings that are still available but neglected by them. The journey of life is a life task to be performed and to be achieved and not simply a subjective feeling. Right. Not just an adventure in terms of uh, sensations, but an adventure in terms of unique potentialities. Once we have actualized a potentiality, we have rescued it into the past, where from nothing and nobody can ever rob us. It has become a reality forever, for eternity. But the same also holds if we have neglected and bypassed it, then the potentiality not having been actualized is past forever, is lost forever. This constitutes our uh, uh, infinite responsibleness. Of course, nobody is uh, capable of fully actualizing each and every potentiality, and thereby he becomes, in a certain sense, in an existential sense, he becomes guilty. However, this guilt belongs to the condition, to the human condition, is inescapable, and we have to confess to our fallibility. This is no, nothing to hinder us from going on to actualize values and fulfill meanings, but it is a warning not to let pass the transitory potentialities. What is transitory is only the potentialities. But once we have actualized them, we have actualized them forever. We have rescued them into an eternal reality, as it were.